guys, it's Carl here, and I burnt my thumb. It's great. I almost fell over there. Um, I forgot what I was just doing. Okay, now I remembered. Uh, we are going to do a little, um, if you guys, just something. We're going to react to something on Netflix, ow. Okay. Something, you like, that 70s show? I don't know why, but my grandma just gave these to me. They're like, um, iridescent glass chips. Or in Spanish, they're Le Verde Iridescentis Moracas. No, wait, that's French. Pre cut and ready to use. That is freaking great. Okay, so before we react to that type of show, I would like to recommend some movies. I'll show you what they're rated. This is rated PG. This is Marley and Me. It's a good movie. Kind of sad at the end, but it's a good movie. Uh, Tammy, rated R. I've seen this about a million times. It's still my favorite movie. I mean, look. Here, I'll read the back. After losing her job and learning her husband has been unfaithful, Tammy hits the road with her profane, hard-drinking grandmother on a trip of a lifetime. That's great. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys all know the story of Marley and me, so you really don't know. And the next one, Paper Towns. Rated PG-13. Adapted from the best-selling novel by the Fault Our Stars author, John Green comes with this unforgettable film. I forgot where it was. It's unforgettable film starring Nat Wolf and Kara de Ever since they were children, Coutine and has been in love with his indigenic neighbor Margot, who is Margot recruits Coutine for a prank filled night of adventure. Coutine leaps on the opportunity, but the next day Margot suddenly disappears, leaving behind Crypt Cryptic clues for Quatine to despair when he goes on an epic road trip to find her. Quatine ultimately learns the true meaning of love and friendship. And this one is Max. It is um, Max, a precision trained military dog, serves on the front lines of Afghanistan until he loses his handler, U.S. Marine Kyle Wincott. W Wincott? <laughs> okay. In the line of duty. Traumatized, Max is sent state sta state side where the only human he can connect with is Kyle's brother, Justin. And the pair strikes up an unlikely friendship as they unravel a mystery that may deliver more excitement and danger than they bargained for. In the last movie... This one's a classic. I'm sure that you guys are all um, familiar with this. It's a great check. So, don't you forget about me. The Breakfast Club. Yeah, they actually made a parody of this in um, my favorite TV show. They came out like a long time ago. Victorious. Anyway, um... They were five students with nothing in common, faced with spending a Saturday detention together in their high school library at f 7 a.m. They had nothing to say, but by 4 p.m., they had bared their souls to each other and become good friends. John Hughes, the creator of this critically acclaimed 16 Candles, wrote, directed, and produced this hilarious and often touching comedy starring Emilio Estevez, Anthony Michael Hall, Jude N N Nelson, and Molly Riglin and Ashley Sheedy. Uh, to the outside world, we're simply the jock, the brain, the criminal, and the, the princess, and the kook. But to each other, they would always been the breakfast club. Just drop the phone for lunch. <laughs> Not that. I'm talking about the sweet sound of no women. Uh, I never hear that. Jackie's voice is burned into my brain. I wish it would stop, but it won't. Remember back in the day when it was just us guys? 
That's good times. Or like, oh, desperate, I don't care if she has a mustache, so I'll take her anyway time. Whatever. You know what? I say, who needs women? Come on, let's get crazy. What was that? What, did someone say mini golf? <laughs> uh, still not allowed back in there. Pink ladies ball again? No offense. Why do you ask that question when you already know the answer? Pink ball only until I lose my virginity. <laughs> Sorry, them's the rules. All right, fellas, you know the rules. You get a strike, you chug. You get a gutter ball, you chug. You get a seven ten split. Seven to ten chunks. Hey guys, look, I got ten pound balls. Man, that joke never gets old. Hey guys, my balls have holes in them. Now, why isn't that funny? This is living. A lot of falling, a lot of beer, just us guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, bowling alley chicks are easy. Uh, so that was a clip from that 70s show. If you guys want to watch the rest of the show, then you just have to go on Netflix. Anyway, that was a short clip from Season 4, Episode 11, uh, Third Wheel. So, uh, seven minutes? Okay. So, I'll see you guys on the flip side, and bye!